A die is thrown three times. The sum of the three numbers is found to be 15. 15, 15. The maximum sound 6 plus 6 plus 6, 18. Let's think about how 15 can happen. And so if we had a 6, the other two should add up to 9. So it would be 6, 6, 3 or 6, 5, 4. Nothing else is possible. If you have a 6, one of the throws being 6 and the maximum being 6, then the other two should add up to 9. 6 plus 9 is 15. That could be 6 and 3 or 5 and 4. If you don't have a 6 at all, then 5, 5, 5 is the only possibility. Fine. Brilliant. Once you have done this, we are through. How so? 5, 5, 5 below that we cannot have. One of the throws has to be 6. If one of the none of the throws is 6, there's only one possibility. 5, 5, 5. If one of the throws is 6, it is 6, 6, 3 or 6, 5, 4. Now, 6, 6, 3 can be 6, 3, 6 or 3, 6, 6. So 3 possibilities here. This, there are 6 possibilities. Here there are one possibility. So totally there are 10 possible outcomes where it could turn out to be 15. Out of this, the probability that first throw was a 4. Not here, not here, only here. It could have been 4, 5, 6 or 4, 6, 5. Out of the 10 outcomes, 2 work for us or we are looking at 1 by 5. To have the sum as 15, there are 10 possible outcomes. Out of which 2 will have the first throw as 4. So 2 out of 10, 1 out of 5. 